inhumane admission procedures for the new arrivals continued in the shunt room. They were forced to strip naked and hand over their clothes and all personal belongings. This gold tooth and tie pin exemplify that literally everything was taken from you upon arriving at the camp. The SS administered corporal punishments in the detention building, at the roll call square, and on the camp's roads. Between 1941 and 1942, punishments were also carried out in the prisoners' baths. The prisoner had to lean over a wooden trestle and was beaten with a bullwhip by SS men or prisoner functionaries. In the survivors' memories, the whipping trestle is a symbol of intimidation, humiliation, and mortal peril. Dachau alone had more than 30 large subcamps, in which over 30,000 prisoners worked almost exclusively on armaments. Thousands of prisoners were worked to death. It was not an uncommon practice at the time for major corporations to use camp labor for their own benefit. Most notably, Daimler, Volkswagen, and BMW are all guilty of using forced labor throughout World War II. On the night of November 1, 2014, unknown persons forcibly entered the grounds of the memorial site and stole the historic gate of the former concentration camp. A replica has replaced the historic camp gate at the Jor House since April 2015. In early December 2016, an anonymous tip-off to the police in the Norwegian city of Bergen led to the recovery of the gate. In February 2017, the camp gate was returned to the memorial site. The thieves have yet to have been identified. Here you can see the reconstructed barracks, rebuilt to show the conditions in which the prisoners lived. Up to 180 prisoners were kept in each barrack. This room would have acted as a storage room of sorts for the prisoners to put away any camp-issued garments or other items. The washroom and sanitary facilities were entirely insufficient for the growing number of prisoners. Especially in the mornings, they only had a few minutes time, and this was not enough for several hundred prisoners to crowd into the washrooms and toilets all at once. Like all procedures in the concentration camp, the SS found ways to use the hygienic facilities to harass, humiliate, and punish the prisoners. Here you can see the empty plots of what were 15 different barracks. On the other side of the camp, there were an additional 15.
The SS had a crematorium built in the summer of 1940 because the number of dead had arisen dramatically. It lay outside the prisoners' camp and could only be reached by passing through the SS camp. In 1942, a second building with a larger crematorium and gas chamber was built, 